book. I'm taking this uh, old piece of that bead board from the Whitneyville Grange Hall and making a coat rack out of it. So first what I did, I drew a pilot hole for these guys. So I won't be splitting any wood. And then I thought, how am I going to fix this to the wall? So then what I did was I took and uh, drew a little line. And I took this cool tool. Look at that. That's a countersink. And I popped it in there. I countersunk that. So what I'll do is I'll mount this coat rack to the new wall. And then the mounting screws will be hidden there. Whoa, there's one up there too. Hey, that's a smile, isn't it? And then also at the very end. Yeah, you could do something like this too. This is a real cool tool, battery drill. And look at this, this deal, this uh, countersink bit quarter inch base. I bought it. I bought it at one of those box stores. Look at pull it out. There's a driver. I put this in here. Pull that forward. No, push it back. Bang. Locks it in place. Well, here's this wall that I've been building that you saw the beginning of. Here's the coat rack going up. Look at that. I got those screwed in and I'm going to cover them up with these guys, so you won't see anything. Turned out pretty nice. Because these coat hooks are antiques, they came out of my other house, and I don't know where they came from originally. They're pretty beautiful. The holes aren't lined up perfectly when they cast these things, so what I did, I don't know if you see it, number three there, and then I wrote on there number three. Likewise, I did that with two and one. I drilled pilot holes for these things, but like I said, each each coat hook is different. And uh, trying to, try, I don't want them all crooked in the end. So a number of things like that.